Hey, I'm Ainsley with Curbside Cycle, and today we're chatting about the recent Muller Charger 3. So a little about Reese and Muller company history. This company was started by Marco Reese and Heiko Muller, two dads, engineers, and entrepreneurs who are really focused on sustainable transportation. So who's the Charger 3 for? This bike is designed for people who are doing the regular nine to five commute within the city, but also want a bike that they can take out on the trails on the weekends. This bike comfortably sits between the Super Delight and Delight models, which are designed more for expedition riding and rugged trails, and the Roadster and Roadster Mixty, which is more of an urban focused bike. The wider and stronger seat stays provide more stability and strength for off-road adventures. The Charger 3 comes in two frame styles, Roadster, which is the model behind me, and Mixty, where the bar comes lower on the bike in more of a step-through position. The thing that most people want to know about e-bikes is about the motor and the battery system. When you're buying an e-bike, you want to look at three main components. The motor, the battery, and the display. Let's talk about the motor. This model comes with the Bosch Performance CX line, which is designed specifically for e-bikes that need extra torque. It's quiet and reliable and delivers up to 85 Newton meters of torque compared to most e-bikes, which have about 60 to 65. This allows you to get up hills and put extra power into your legs when you really need it. It delivers up to 400% support, meaning that for every pedal stroke you put in, you'll get four back in return from the motor. It has four settings, Eco, Sport, Tour and Turbo, and the motor will assist you up to 32 kilometers an hour. Unlike other motors on the market, Bosch smoothly adds power when you need it and drops back into the background when you don't. A strong motor is great, but you need a good battery to back that up. This bike also has Bosch batteries to go with the Bosch motor, and you have three different options for setting that up. The first option is a power tube battery. It lives inside the frame here and comes in either 500 watt or 625 watt options. The third option is to go with a dual battery system. It provides you 1,125 watts of power and consists of one 625 watt power tube inside the frame and one 500 watt power pack battery that sits on the outside of the frame. The main difference between these batteries is range. On a 500 watt battery, you're going to get about 100 kilometers maximum of range before you need to recharge. A 625 watt battery gives you about 125 kilometers, and the 1125 watt battery gives you up to 250 kilometers of range before needing to recharge. The last part of the recipe for an e-bike is the control display. And with the Charger 3, you've got four options. First of all, we've got the Intuvia. It's pretty simple. It's got thumb controls for assist levels with basic information on speed, range and battery level displayed on a black and white screen. The Kiox is for fitness junkies. It's got a glass touch screen, as well as fitness data, including cadence and calories. It notifies you if you're traveling above or below your average speed to motivate you to go quicker. It also connects to a heart rate monitor, records trips and sends data to e-bike online portals or the e-bike connect phone app. This one also comes with navigation. It's got route planning capability online that it can send to the Kiox device to connect to apps like Strava and give you responsive orienteering navigation. The bike we've caught here comes with the Nyon display, which is for off-road exploring and fitness. The fitness capabilities are the same as the Kiox we've just mentioned, but it's also got navigation that saves addresses and recently visited maps, plus place markers to find your way back to a spot when you're riding trails. The last option is a smartphone hub, which unfortunately is not available with a roll-off internal gear hub. It connects with a Kobe bike app to provide you fitness stats, music, podcasts, audiobooks, on-road, as well as the ability to make or take calls. The mount on the bike charges the phone and there's a thumb shifter to control what's going on on the phone. It also features a simpler black and white display to use when you don't want to use your phone. So this bike is outfitted for your regular nine to five and your weekend adventures, and that includes cargo carrying capacity. This bike comes with a rear MIK HD rack, 
which is capable of carrying up to 60 pounds of cargo. You also have the option of a front carrier featured on this bike, which carries about 11 pounds. You also have the option of a front carrier with bag, which includes the front carrier as featured, as well as a zippered roll top waterproof bag that carries up to 18 liters of kit. Now let's get into the build options of this bike. The first thing to talk about is gearing. There are three different options that you can pick. The first option is a Shimano Dior XT drivetrain. It has an 11 speed external derailleur, which gives you lots of climbing capability. The next two options come with a Gates belt drive, which is motorcycle technology adapted for bicycles. The belt drive gives you up to 30,000 kilometers of riding time before needing a replacement. This bike comes with a Vario option, which features an NVLO 380 stepless internal gear hub. That's a lot of words, but essentially what we mean is that all the gears are kept inside of the gear hub, out of the weather and safe from dirt and grime. The last option is the roll off internal gear hub. It's similar to the Enviolo in that all the gears are kept inside the hub, but this hub is relied on for expeditions around the world. These hubs are trusted by worldwide cyclists and are often taken on really long expeditions where calling in mechanical help isn't an option. This bike comes stock with a thud buster seat post, meaning that it's going to absorb all the shock of the road and make going over cobbles feel like flat pavement. The last two things that you have to choose between are the GX option or the heavy duty package. You can do one or the other of these. The GX option comes with Schwalbe all-terrain tires. They're going to be really smooth at the midsection for low rolling resistance, but they have nubs along the side, which makes cornering on dirt and gravel very easy. The GX option also comes with Ergon GP3 grips, which offer an ergonomic position when gripping the handlebar, as well as a secondary bullhorn position for alternate riding positions. The other option is the heavy duty package designed for larger riders. This option comes with a reinforced stem, handlebar and pedals and brings the maximum weight limit of this bike up from 310 pounds to 350. A wider saddle also makes it more comfortable for longer rides. Regardless of which options you pick, the foundation of the Charger 3 is the same. It's got a moderate riding position, which allows you to use the muscles in your legs effectively and efficiently for long rides. The aluminum frame gives you a very stiff ride, which means that all of the power that you're putting in from your legs goes straight to the pedals and the drivetrain where it belongs and not into the shocks. Aluminum also has the benefit of being rust proof, which makes this a four season bike. Disc brakes have been known in the industry to provide stopping power in even the foulest of weather conditions, but this bike ups it a notch by bringing in Magura hydraulic disc brakes. Magura is a well-known German brand and hydraulic disc brakes provide you stopping power even in fluctuating temperatures going between minus 10 and plus five. The fluid in the lines replaces a traditional cable system and prevents it from freezing up and you losing brake power when it matters most. This bike comes with the German made Supernova and Bush and Muller front and rear lights. The Supernova Mini 2 front light provides 235 lumens of illumination, meaning that you can see and be seen on even the darkest trails. The Bush & Miller Top Light 2C Rear Light provides two high power LEDs on the edges to provide two C-shaped illumination paths, as well as a large reflector. The Abus Rear Wheel Lock, or what we at Curbside call the Cafe Lock, is perfect for making sure that your bike is safe when in sight. So if you're stopped at a park, having lunch on a trail, your bike is not going to be taken by a thief who can ride away with it easily. This isn't a lock we'd recommend for locking up your bike for long periods of time, but it's excellent for quick stops. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any further questions about the Reesen Muller Charger 3 or Reesen Muller as a brand in general, we have two blogs available on our website for your research. The first is the Why Reesen Muller blog, and it goes into detail about each of the bikes that we carry and why you would select one over the other. The Charger 3 product page also provides a huge amount of information on this bike. If you'd like to talk to us about this bike in person, you can book an in-store sales appointment with us here at 412 Bloor Street West in Toronto, or book a remote sales appointment, which we can conduct by phone or video chat. If you'd like more information on cargo bikes, folding bikes, city bikes, Dutch bikes, and e-bikes, you can subscribe to our channel for more information.